Hi, I'm David Hughes from Graphable. Today, we are going to see how the combination of Neo4j and Hume, a graph analytics and app dev platform, demonstrates the value that graphs and graph databases can bring to a business by surfacing critical insights at scale and in ways not possible in more traditional database formats. Neo4j is a graph database that is capable of storing many kinds of graph data across various business domains. In this case, we are looking at geographic data in the Neo4j browser as a means to illustrate how leveraging graph with Neo4j and then extending Neo4j's graph database capabilities with the companion graph product Hume would enable a company to unearth meaningful information about immensely valuable patterns locked away in their data. In this example, we will look at geospatial data, which Neo4j stores as points, each of which is made up of latitude and longitude information. Points can be stored as properties on a graph node and used in Neo4j's native spatial and analytic capabilities. Nodes can store additional geographic information such as boundaries in the form of polygons commonly found in shapefiles. In this example graph, two nodes are selected and their geographic information is used to calculate the distance between two points on a map modeled as nodes in a graph. Neo4j returns a floating point number representing the linear distance between the two points. The returned units will be the same as those of the point coordinates, and it will work for both 2 and 3D Cartesian points. Hume is a graph insights engine capable of working with graph data stored in Neo4j and out of the box includes the ability to project standard, time series, and geospatial data from Neo4j for advanced analytics. Here, City Bike Station data in New Jersey is viewed in the Hume browser and their locations are projected on Hume's map visualization. You may have seen this data earlier on Graphable's YouTube channel where we explore bike share data using Hume. Graphable is occasionally asked by a client to extend Hume to meet their particular use cases. Next, continuing with our geospatial theme as an example, we are going to look at how Graphable's development team integrated Uber's H3 framework for a client using Hume's extensibility. We created a Dockerized container service that wrapped Uber's H3 spatial index framework to enable geospatial analytics at different levels of resolution. Hume can be extended for many use cases beyond geospatial. We used Hume's ability to easily store custom functions called actions, which any user of Hume's interface can call without needing to know the underlying code. In this visualization, we start by displaying level 4 hexagons and utilize Hume's internal context information to change visible hexagons and their underlying data at different resolutions based on the map's zoom level. Using the city bike data to demonstrate the value of Hume's extensibility, Graphable's H3 integration enabled users to explore bike stations in New Jersey, to display hexagons at a user's desired level, and to project hexagon areas which aggregate the bike stations contained by each hexagon. This H3 extension augments the ability to analyze and aggregate data efficiently and at scale and across different data resolution levels for performant analytics. Graphable's H3 integration into Hume enhances Neo4j's graph native algorithm analytics. In the city bike data, hexagons, and Hume actions are used to calculate the shortest path between bike stations at various resolutions. Using the different levels of data resolution can result in the performant planning of new station routes. As another example of how Hume can be extended to meet a business need, Graphable was asked to augment Hume with the ability to provide driving directions for the shortest route between two locations. We used the same Docker container that we built Uber's H3 in. We leveraged OSRM, a uniquely powerful open source routing engine for the shortest route in road networks. Looking at the OSRM interface, it's easy to see that if you were in Boston and wanted to get fresh Island Creek oysters in Duxbury, that you can get both the shortest route and the turn-by-turn -turn instructions. It was easy to take OSRM and integrate it into our containerized service and call it using Hume's API capabilities. From Hume's interface, a user can easily select two points on the map, or even H3 hexagons, and using Hume's multi-node actions, view OSRM-generated routes and directions.
As a final example of how Graphable can enhance Neo4j's data functionality and extend the Hume platform's analytic capabilities, we will once again look through the lens of geospatial data, though this is just one example of many possible business use cases. The Graphable team responded to a client's requested feature by incorporating the Python package GeoPandas into our containerized service. GeoPandas is a powerful open source project to make working with geospatial data in Python easier. One of Hume's features that we have discussed is Actions. Hume Actions can be used to call parameterized cipher queries. Actions in our GeoPandas use case were used to enable users to create new nodes in a Neo4j graph using the Hume interface without needing to know any underlying cipher code. Using actions, users created new vertices nodes to define the border of and create a polygon. This capability gave Hume users the ability to quickly partition areas of interest, in this use case, locations in France. The partition locations were efficiently filtered from a large data set using Hume functionality and cipher code as part of supporting actions. The GeoPandas service that Graphable built was called to enhance location filtering through its functionality for identifying geographic locations contained within a polygon. The combination of new Neo4j data created by the user in the Hume interface and the GeoPandas service provides the users with the ability to dynamically create areas of interest in their geographic data sets. Hume can use these filtered results in downstream analysis to surface insights that would be difficult in other data platforms. Hopefully, this video has been helpful and demonstrated the value of graph databases, Neo4j, Hume, and Hume's extensibility. For more detailed information, a demo, or help, reach out below to connect with our graph engineering and data science experts. Thank you.